Hey there, I'm James, the host here at Print and Play, and today I'm taking the covers off of a new feature I'm going to be running here on the channel. One of the things I love doing is finding awesome models on Thingiverse and printing them, and I thought it would be cool to start a segment I'm calling Make a Model Mondays, where I can showcase some of the models that I've found. So I'm going to start off with a print that'll hopefully bring a lot of honor to your house. Today I'm showcasing this Klingon dagger modeled after the Klingon dagger from Star Trek The Next Generation. Now this was printed as five separate pieces, three for the blades and two for the handle. The top was printed in silver PLA at 0.06 millimeter layer heights or 60 micron layer heights. And then the handle was printed at 0.2 millimeters. It was printed in a uh, brass colored but not brass fill uh, PLA as well. The filament used in these was PLA from filaments.ca here in Canada. The detail work on it is just phenomenal. The effort that was put into the model to get all the accuracy down is just, it's crazy. The print came out really, really nice. Uh, there's a bit of curling around the edge. Um, and unfortunately, the one part that didn't turn out nice is the underneath. The uh, support material didn't come away clean, but a little bit of sanding is all it's going to take to get that to look really, really nice. And of course, the flat area turned out perfect. The uh, handle printed really well. Uh, it needs to be glued together still. And the only little misfire on the handle is that a couple of the points didn't print off cleanly and actually ended up snapping off. Um, so I will eventually probably try to reprint it, but I printed this to be a display piece and it's going to be facing in one direction. So the lower quality on the back isn't really a big, a big deal. It's going to be facing forward like this. And I think this model is just awesome. One of the coolest things you can do with 3d printing is take something out of your favorite series or favorite movies and make it real. And I've had a lot of kaplach with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and toss a link to this model in the video description below, and I would love it if you guys would give it a shot. This was scaled to about 80%. It was printed on my printer bot Simple Metal. Um, I had trouble getting the full-size blade on it. 80% was about all I could muster on it. Uh, something like the CR-10 would have no problem printing this at full size. I could have also cut it into separate pieces, but I think it works just the way it is. The nice thing is, too, these pieces are all pressure fit together. With a little bit of cleanup and sanding, they went together no problem. So there's actually no glue applied anywhere on this model yet. So if you end up printing it, uh, tweet me or post links to pictures of the in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys do with it. If you have something you want to see me print in a future episode of Make a Model Monday, toss it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you like this video, toss a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, please do. We'd love it if you stuck around. And until next time, kapla.